The troposphere is the layer of the atmosphere that we live in, where all the weather happens. The stratosphere is the layer right above that. In the 1990s, scientists realized that they could use the transition between these two layers, something they call the tropopause, to identify the human contribution to climate change because of the way that layer rises when it warms. But in those days, the ozone hole was causing the stratosphere to cool, which could also make the troposphere rise. So their data was inconclusive. In 2021, the ozone hole is no longer an issue. So we thought we'd go back and revisit this problem using 20 more years of data. Atmospheric scientist Bill Randall says his new research shows the tropopause has been rising by about 165 feet per decade since 1980 because of warming in the lower atmosphere. He also says the data proves the warming was caused by humans. You have to be able to trust the data, you have to be able to trust your analysis and, and be able to try to separate this natural variability from the forced variability, if you will. He used thousands of weather balloon measurements and GPS radio signals to build a history of the tropopause. He says the two sets of data match so closely that he was able to separate natural sources like volcanoes, wildfires, and oceanic fluctuations like El Nino and La Nina. And it clearly shows that greenhouse gases emitted from human activity is causing the troposphere to swell. Randall says this alteration to the atmospheric structure will not significantly affect society or ecosystems, but the human fingerprint speaks volumes. It's one additional unambiguous piece of evidence that humans are changing the atmosphere. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.